Okay, so the 2008 R2 server has been fully updated. Uh, it is a domain controller. It is also a DHCP server. So the next thing to do now is to import some users uh, so that we can play around with in our lab. So I've got a spreadsheet that lists uh, 20 users and I've pretty much filled out the details for each of these users. So um, surname, given names, employee numbers, and so forth. All this information is gonna be fed into a PowerShell script, uh, which is going to run a command in Active Directory and create a user for each row that we have in this, uh, this spreadsheet. The script that I've created, probably multiple ways to do this or better, even better ways. Uh, this is what I've just quickly come up with. Um, I've just created a bunch of variables, main path, which is the folder that we're gonna be working in, uh, the OU path. So we need to provide a path to where we want our users to be located. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Site Active Directory, the domain name, jtlines.internal. Um, and then here we create um, the array of users out of that CSV file. So this command here will actually inspect that CSV file and create a list of each of those users and it will be stored into this variable. We've got a password variable, which I'll just run at the time of uh, running this script. And then we've got a couple of loops. But the first loop, which is to actually add the new users. Uh, so a couple of, um, items that are required um, to create a new user with PowerShell. There is the name, basically um, information that you formed in the spreadsheet, create the name. Yeah, so I have the username list. Uh, so those details have been um, make these variables. Then we just run, so specify the path, path which is up here, and basically all the information out of this spreadsheet um, is added. Which new expensive? So having um, this switch here called enabled, so they're ready. Um, they're ready to go straight away so that, that this uh, switch counts will be up uh, as disabled. They're ready to go. And we just run a quick loop again once those users have been created. And it's just to specify the manager of each user that is doing everybody has a manager number. So for that person. Matthew Jones is the marketing manager. His manager is employee 1001. Employee 1001. Kind of like his report. So we can actually fit a bunch of details to Active Directory. And we'll have a look at that shortly. That's what this, um, this little loop here is just assigning everybody their respective manager from that spreadsheet. Um, that's why I found all the easiest way I found to do do it after I've created the created all the user employee numbers being configured and then go and find the correct details based on those employee numbers. I'll leave this script available so anybody can take it and use it or retrofit it to their own personal needs. But now let's uh, let's set it up. Okay, so let's quickly head into our domain controller and set up Active Directory. I'm assuming that you're really Active Directory. It's kind of backbone to our main structure, to our objects within our domain. So our users, computers, and so forth will be managed inside here. 
So I mentioned we've got an OU path, so we've got to create an OU path. So I've got one called Users JT Airlines. Here we have the main component of JT Airlines dot internal. I just need to create these two, which I don't have just yet. So this works kind of works backwards. So main component of JT Airlines dot internal. So our first OU uh, will be JT Airlines and side of JT Airlines create another organizational unit. That quickly main component JT Airlines dot internal organizational unit JT Airlines and organizational unit called users. So in our script we reference the the path that we're going to work from, which is C drive JT Airlines. So create a folder five JT Airlines. Basically, what I'm going to do our CSV file. This is the script. Those, now we've got VMware tools running. Copy from my lab server right into my virtual machine. So we have those there. All we really need to do now is just open up PowerShell. Right click. Edit. Open this up. Our shield ready to go. So going to find that CSV under main path, which is C drive, JT Airlines, and looks called JT A user.csv, which is there. Basically, um, Lusk, get a prompt to enter our password, then it's just going to feed. All those users in that spreadsheet straight into the script and we'll pump out uh, brand new active accounts. So you without further let's run the script. It's asking for the password. Probably put a bit more details here to say the password. It's gonna do that anyway. So that's just that's just this part of the script here. Adding this variable provide the password for each user. So every user is going to have the same password for now. Not be secure, but just for the purpose of this lab, nice and easy. Okay. Moment, like it is complete without error. Come into active a refresh, those 20 users. Of titles added in screen, so now we can see our job titles, our users, so we know who is who. So, for instance, here is a job. Now, if we click inside, all those details um, have been entered as a as to spreadsheet. Office name, display name is going to be telephone number. But street name, street 18 Street, 3000 Australia. Account details, so logging in with this, the first letter of his first name, surname, so Jay Jackson. Profile, nothing added for telephones. And then here we've got the organization, he's the CEO in the administration department of JT Airlines. He is his own manager, John T. Jackson. And these are the people that are reporting to him. So, Michael Johnson, for instance, and we look at here, his manager is Johnson.
Joe. So he's with Jackson, the CEO, but he, who, as a marketing manager, has two direct reports. So Davis is a marketing officer, coaching department, JTL. Matthew Jones. Now there won't be any um, other real details here. Everything else is set to default. Everyone's a domain user by default. Um, obviously what we will do is um, add additional um, additions to our, I, our IT team who will play around with a lot. So we'll be probably logging in the domain with these user accounts, um, including the Chief Technology Officer as uh, Joshua Williams. Yeah, so all the users are now up and running, ready to go. Um, so once we get the right machines running, uh, we can log in as the. See that our uh, environment is starting to. Oh, right.